All right, so the Redmi K40, also known as Poco F3, and in India, this particular device is known as the Mi 11X, and the operating system or OS that we're talking about today is Spark OS. Now, although there are not many changes over here, the reason why this particular video is significant is because this is the first non-beta build based on Android 12. There might not be a lot of new features, there might not be a lot of new changes, and in fact, the team has not even given me a change log over here, so... I've installed it this morning, we've ran a few benchmarks and we've checked a few things and I'll share my experience with you. This will be sort of a quick review, not a complete detailed review, but before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1300 people there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook as well. And if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so let's see what we have here, Spark OS 12S Storm official Android 12 updated on the 29th of November 2021. Now what's strange over here is the moment you click on the term change log, it says we are happy to announce the first non-beta Spark OS based on Android 12. It comes packed with many features, this, that and stuff like that. So we don't really have a change log and we don't really have a XDA page as well. This is the flashing procedure. We recently made a video on how to flash any Android 12 based custom ROM on this particular device. So you can go ahead and follow that. I'm pretty sure the guide will follow, but let's talk about this particular ROM. So Spark OS for me has been a ROM which comes with some customization. I've tried it on uh, the Redmi K20 Pro and now on this device. So this ROM definitely has some promise. Most of these versions that come out of this particular team are great performers. So the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that you have a very, very clean UI because this ROM doesn't boot with a lot of bloatware. You have a very, very basic camera application. I don't even know which camera application this is. Let's actually go to app info over here and yeah, uh, Graphene OS camera. Yeah, Graphene OS camera, that's what they're saying. Anyways, to the left, you have Google Feed, which works beautifully smooth, no problem. Even while scrolling, if you go to the home screen, the experience is brilliant. Now, from the top to bottom, you do have your quick tiles over here, which are available just like Android 12. You do have a built-in screen recorder. Before that, there is something interesting, which is the FPS info. So the strange thing here is even after enabling the FPS info, it is not working. So that might be enabled in a future update. If you talk about the screen recorder, they've still not updated to the screen recorder, which is available in a lot of custom ROMs. So I'm pretty sure they will do that later. But the good thing with this particular device in Android 12 is the screen recorder is not that buggy. So the moment you start the screen recording, everything still remains fluid, butter smooth, working absolutely fine. It does record internal and external audio. So so you don't really have a problem there. As you can see, it quickly processed the file as well. So the moment you start the screen recording, everything still remains fluid, butter smooth, working absolutely fine. Now surprisingly, it doesn't even have the bug which is there in the other two devices while recording screen using the AOSP screen recorder that the audio is sort of not that perfect. So that is a good thing for Mi 11X users. So the moment you go to the launcher, you do see that this is launcher 12 alpha 4, right? This is a good launcher in, even in Android 11. Now it comes with Android 12. So yeah, it supports Android 12 is what I mean. Anyways, you have things like home screen notation, notification dots, icon pack, themed icons, icon shape, experimental feature called font over here, theme, accent, color, auto adaptive icons, that is neat. Then you have home screen settings. You do have the dock settings over here, app drawer settings, folder settings, and you have a recent customization as well. So clear all button, custom screen corner radius. You can set this, let's see over here. As you can see, so yeah, launcher launcher on this particular ROM is doing great. And as you can see, the themed icons are already showing their colors, which works really, really great. Now on the home screen, you have the shortcuts for your Google Assistant. You have the Google search bar at the bottom. And as I said, the quick tiles does give you access to a lot of customization. So you do have your advanced features over here, like caffeine, extra dim, heads up, volume panel, 
Reboot, AOD. So all these things are available and they make Spark OS one of the best ROMs as far as customization is concerned. Now, as I said, it doesn't boot with a lot of bloatware. So if you actually go to settings, you go to about and go to Android version 12, you will see this is the official non-beta version. The maintainer is Shubham. SE Linux status is enforcing and it does come with the Quantic kernel. So performance should be reasonably decent with this particular kernel. Now, the main highlight for a custom ROM is customization and they are calling it fireworks. Now, remember in one of the previous ParkOS video, I did mention that this particular color theme that they have, I know yellow is their color theme, but they should align this with Monet UI and it will make the experience even better. Now, you do have things like themes, lock screen, status bar, gestures, miscellaneous and power menu. So, if you go to themes, you do have an option to override the Monet engine and then you have a ton of customization. Just look at the amount of customization you have here. Next up, you have the lock screen customization, a lot of options here. Then you have the option to customize your status bar as well, which works absolutely fine. You do have your gesture customization over here, right? So something like a three finger screenshot is something I'm not able to use now. If you go to miscellaneous, you have all these features available and then you have the advanced restart available as well, as you can see over here, which can be accessed from this particular menu over here as well. So all in all, Spark OS has a lot of customization and the main thing about Android 12 based custom ROMs for this particular device is the smoothness. It's just great. If you go to the battery section, you do have thermal profiles, but remember this is still in progress, work in progress because I don't see any particular option over here. So it will use the default thermal profile. If you talk about the battery life on this particular ROM, we've used the screen for almost three hours and we are at 53% battery. So the battery life is pretty decent. The charging speeds are okay. You will take about one hour and 35 to 40 minutes to charge from zero to 100. Now let's quickly go ahead and check the safety net over here. As you can see, safety net passes out of the box. Nothing to worry there. And apart from this, the DRM info is Widewine L1. Your device is certified on the Play Store. So your content consumption and your banking applications, your financial transactions are taken care of. You can slap a Gcam on this and you should be good to go. Let's quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers before we actually go ahead and end this video. So the first thing that we will talk about is the CPU throttle test. Now, as you can see over here, CPU throttled to 94% of its max performance, 227, 206 GIPS, and that is a decent score now if we talk about geekbench over here it's not really exciting because what i saw over here was 889 single core and 2688 multi-core but with time that should improve as well so antutu glitched out that is the reason i was not able to run antutu benchmark so all in all if you ask me about the latest spark os for the mi 11x it's doing a great job they are on the right path you can use it as a daily driver how well it will game i cannot confirm that now i've not tried it maybe at a later date we'll do a gaming review for this particular rom let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular update for the mi 11x until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone off keep smiling take care bye bye Oh,